everyone, it's GCB here with On The Brink Games, here for a standard deck tech on Green Red Dragons. This deck placed second place at Grand Prix Shanghai last weekend. Let me just move this up a little bit. And alright, so let me just get into it. Um, the mana base is pretty straightforward. It has a one of Haven of the Spirit Dragon just to be able to get back um, your Thunderbreak Regents and or Stormbreath Dragons if you kind of run out of gas late game and maybe if you don't have double red to cast these it will do that also so it's a pretty nice card it's a nice one of I like it and then we go over here uh, your place of four elvish mystics as your usual just to ramp up to your bigger threats in Thunderbreak Regent and Stormbreath Dragon and also late game can give you a lethal Crater's Claw aka Fireball and then we have a little different here we have a four Radiclaw Mystics which I like it ramps you up and can give you pretty explosive turns and now that morphs are kind of all over the place it kind of gives you in game one a little like well is it a damn protector or deathness raptor or something and kind of can catch people off guard so i kind of like that uh with red claw mystics and also just ramps you up and you kind of want to ramp up to those dragons as fast as possible so i'm going to move those out of the way and here are two den protectors um i really like den protector um, you can get back just burn spells or creature spells or a boon satyr uh, late game and bestow it or and also you can bestow a boon satyr on a den protector it becomes a seven power guy that just can't be blocked by anything pretty much in the format besides like dragon lord of tarka and even then I mean it's probably died to the dragon lord of tarka if it was on the field so no big deal but yeah it's can be very brutal if you get the combo going right there pretty much unblockable damage every turn uh... runs three draconic roar i kinda want four possibly um, in the main deck but right now i'm just pretty much copying the same exact list that got second gp and then after i play it a little more i'll uh... probably make some changes to it if changes need to be made uh, pretty straightforward card uh... It's pretty much Searing Blades if you have a dragon in your hand. Um, just a great card. Uh, stops aggro and can make you push through damage. So I'm going to move all those over here. And we go over here to the Boon Siders that uh, in most lists would be a Corsair or Crew Fix. And I actually like uh, Boon Sider in this list because it's this one is a lot more aggressive than others in the format. And um, this card is just really great right now, especially... Uh, people don't expect it and since you have so many creatures with evasion and you just bestow it the following turn after dropping a thunderbreak regent that's eight damage that's a lot of damage and can m kill a lot of people you go over here it plays a playset of goblin rabble master um, this card is just great um, we all know what it does I mean love it I mean just if it can't some decks just can't answer it, and if it's not answered either way, it kind of just wants the game and takes over, so I'm really like that. It's a very aggressive card. Uh, three Arc Lightning. Um, I found this one to be interesting in the main deck. I'm not sure the matchup, like what he was afraid and why his three main deck Arc Lightnings. Uh, maybe he thought red, like mono red, was just a really bad matchup and he couldn't win, and so he chose Arc Lightning paired with Draconic Roar. I'm not sure I'll be playing the deck here in a daily event and we'll see how good main deck arc lightning is. Put those over here and now we go over to the dragons. Uh, we have four Thunderbreak Regents. Uh, this card since Dragons of Tarkir came out is an all-star. Uh, it's just four power and it's kind of two for one's your opponent kind of where you play it if they don't deal with it they're gonna take four and then they're going to have to deal with it and they'll have to take three damage when they do decide to deal with it and it also makes does the same thing with Stormbreath Dragon so I'm impressed Dra uh, Thunderbreak Region is a very good card and it has two Ashcloud Phoenix uh, this card is also an all-star when I played uh, 
red, white, splash black, uh, like tokens back there with Chandra Rocks and Outpost Sieges and stuff. I would side Ash Cloud Phoenix in um, against like Abzan matches ups and everything because they pretty much have to keep on using all their removal spells on everything I cast and Ash Cloud Phoenix is just a very hard card to deal with so you have to use two removal spells on it and they usually just run out of gas and this card will take over so Ash Cloud Phoenix is I think a very underrated card in the format. And lastly, we have, oh, not almost lastly, for creatures, we have uh, four Storm Breath Dragons. This is just one of the best dragons ever printed. Uh, pro white, anything that says protection from a color is usually pretty good. Um, in late game, you can Monstrous, and it becomes a 7 7 that just deals a bunch of damage. And it's got haste, so on turn 5 or as early as turn, I think we could play this turn 3, you can just attack for 4, attack for 4, and then by then they're probably pretty dead. And then we have the last cards in the deck are 3 Kratos Claws. I haven't actually played with this card uh, ever, so it's going to be interesting to see how good Fireball is in this format um, with the plus side of me it being a sorcery speed shock also if I have ferocious so uh, this card's interesting I think it late game it's perfect where I just they clogged up the board and the air and I just need to do that last few points of damage and curse claws there to do that so that's nice and now I'm gonna move over the sideboard um, see we have two outpost sieges against control and like abs and control in the mid-range matchups uh, Green Red doesn't really have any card advantage spells, and so Outpost Siege kind of fills that spot where if it goes late and it's going to be really attrition y, uh, Outpost Siege can pretty much put me over in a lot of matchups, so I like Outpost Siege. Uh, we have two Anger of the Gods against like the really fast aggro decks and the Mega Morph decks. This will exile all those pesky. Uh, non mega morphed uh, deathness raptors and then protectors so that's very nice a very strong card I like it uh, we have three roasts here this is for the abs and aggro deck I'm almost certain and it pretty much every matchup that doesn't have flying creatures hits anafenza hits uh, siege rhinos mostly and then other hard to deal with uh, creatures that have five toughness that's gonna really stonewall a lot of creatures in our deck besides our dragons obviously uh, one of Draconic Roar, which I think maybe should be in the main deck. Uh, it's in the side just for pretty much the mirror. I think it would be pretty good in the mirror match to uh, get rid of those mana guys before they really can take over in any aggro matchup. Um, also, two Hornets Nests. Uh, I'd probably bring these in and where I'd bring in Roast, and maybe I can turn into a Bees deck and roast my own Hornets Nest and get. Uh, five hornets and kinda make stonewall them where they have to deal with my hornets before anything so hornets nest is a very good card uh, I've played against it it's really a pain to play against so I imagine that that's gonna come in a lot of matchups I might face in the daily event uh, three xenagos uh, planeswalker this comes in against control and maybe just very attrition-y matchups where I want to diversify my threats from planeswalkers and just uh, creatures so that's where those would come in same kind of same thing with Sarkon I just want to diversify or I need another removal spell but also I want something to stick around uh, that's perfect where Sarkon comes in and shines so I like that so uh, that's the deck tech uh, and we're gonna about to get to a daily event so stay tuned for that thanks for watching this is GCP with on the brink games